reaching out on behalf of Charlie to set the next scheduled visit to days from now. That is fine, but from now on I will only be allowing Charlie to attend these visits. Once he is able to establish a bond with Baby, I am open to possibly allowing him to bring others along. That isn't going to work for us. Charlie is uncomfortable attending these visits by himself due to the number of false allegations that have been made against him. I am simply there. Just as Ethan is for you, for support. While I understand that this is upsetting to hear, it is ultimately my decision. Due to what has occurred since the last visit, I am not comfortable inviting anyone else into my home. Have you spoken to Bria about this? I don't think she would approve. I have spoken to both the gal and my attorney and have made the decision I believe is in the best interest of baby and myself. I hope you realize I will be contacting Bria and letting her know you are keeping me from my grandchild. This will be reflected in her report to the judge. That's completely fine. Why are you keeping my mom out of the visit? That makes no damn sense. Because your mother has repeatedly crossed very simple boundaries I have in place and made serious false allegations against me online again. I am not comfortable being around her. She wants to come. She wants to spend time with baby. So why the fuck keep her out? Because she hurt your feelings. Grow up. Will you still be attending the visit she scheduled for you? If not, please let me know in advance. We both will be there. Don't you worry. If you bring your mom to the next visit and disregard what I've told you, I will no longer offer visits to you. I am not court ordered to allow visits. So if I refuse to be alone with you, I don't get to see my kid. That's pretty messed up. I don't want to be alone with you. I don't want you. I am in a very happy and stable relationship. I can promise you that this rule has nothing to do with wanting to get back together with you. It's simply to protect myself and allow for you to focus on baby. Molly, I have spoken to Charlie and his mother, and I am wondering why you have decided to refuse visitation after the conversation we had via email the other day. I have not refused visits. I spoke to my attorney and she assured me that I had every right to restrict visits to only Charlie due to the actions of his mother. And in doing so, you have made it so that he feels unsafe attending visits. You do understand that this will affect how I determine my final report for the judge? I am really confused why I'm being made out to be the bad guy when I have been the only involved and present parent for baby his entire life. Charlie was just in court wanting to give up his rights. And he regrets his mistake and is very happy the judge denied his request. I see a good man who only wants to be a good father and an ex who is blocking him from doing so every step of the way. That's not the case at all. I don't understand why we seem to get off on the wrong foot from the beginning, but all I want is for baby to be safe and happy. You say that, but your actions are telling me something very different. It's 15 minutes past when your visit was set to begin. Are you running late, or do you need to reschedule? If you are running late, that's fine. I can let my boss know I have to take an extended lunch this one time. I will not be attending visits without another party present with me. I do not feel safe being alone in a hostile environment. I understand. We can arrange our next visit in a public venue to avoid any unwarranted discomfort. Let me know when you would like to schedule again. You misunderstand me. I will not be attending a and y visits. I have spoken to the gal and on her advice, will be filing to change visits to unsupervised due to your hostile behavior. Okay, then we have nothing further to discuss. You really made a mess of this, didn't you? I never wanted to take baby away from you, but your insanity and instability have given me no choice. I suggest that you take the next few weeks to seek mental health assistance before court. I will be praying for you. Something does not seem right about this. 
The gal should not be acting as Charlie's representation. She should be focusing only on what is best for baby. I have to have done something wrong, haven't I? Should I have just let his mom come to visits? Clearly the gal hates me for whatever reason. No, I've seen your messages and everything. You've done nothing so out of sorts that a gal would hold this type of vendetta against you. It doesn't make sense. She's new to this. I think this is only her third case. But still, this isn't due to inexperience. Can we ask for another gal to be assigned? We can ask, but that doesn't happen very often. I will reach out to her and see if I can get a feel of what is going on. I'm worried the judge will listen to her and give Charlie unsupervised access. Baby was terrified of him. We will figure it out before then. Just hang tight, and I will see what I can find out. I've been looking into the gal. Did you know she had me blocked on Facebook? How did she even know about me? I had you listed as a character witness. She must have me blocked too, because I can't find her. How did you? My fake account, duh. It's weird she has you blocked when she is friends with Charlie and his mom on here. Gretchen likes all of her stuff. See, she hates me, and I don't even know why. I didn't do anything bad. HMMM, did you know she is in a relationship? But it doesn't say who she's in a relationship with on Facebook. How would I even know that? I've seen her two times, and she yells at me every time we talk. We aren't besties. Ew, Charlie is in a relationship too, but it doesn't say who either. That's weird. He is super into being public about everything. You have to tell your attorney. I bet you they're seeing each other. That's why she hates you. Why is your weird-ass friend looking at the GAL's Instagram stories? That's literally her private page and none of your business. Why would you even know that? Because I have no idea if she is or not. Oh, don't be stupid. You think getting your friend to stalk the court-appointed gal is going to help your case of seeming like a stable parent. You're making this too easy for me. Okay, well, I don't know what else to tell you, Charlie. I don't know who is looking or not looking, and I don't see why I would even care about her private page. Is there a reason you seem to care so much? I don't. I just don't like the idea of someone being stalked and harassed by an insane person. You didn't seem to have an issue with stalking or harassing me when I was pregnant, did you? That was different and you know it. That was a concerned father who was being kept from knowing anything about his baby. I wonder how it will affect our case when the gal ends up having to file a restraining order against you. I'm sure the judge will be really pleased. So I did something and I think you're going to love me so much for IT. What did you do? Okay, so you know how my sister is one of the admins for that mom group on Facebook for our city. No, but I do now, I guess. What does that have to do with anything? Well, admins can see who posts anonymously in the group and I was telling her about how I think Charlie is banging the gal. And guess who ended up posting anonymously this morning in the group? I'm guessing Bria, but that doesn't make sense because she isn't a mom. You mean she's not yet because she was asking for recommendations on a good maternity photographer to take her pictures for her gender reveal. Holy sheet, no way. That's not all. I got my sister and some of her friends on there to recommend the photographer you used for her pictures. That's my attorney's sister. And that's the fastest way to find out if your gal is dating Charlie. It's genius. Hey, she reached out to me and wanted to talk about potentially booking a session. Oh my gosh, no way. I thought she would know you're related to my attorney. I don't know how she would, we don't have the same last name or anything, but I'm going to try really hard to get her to book with me. That would be insane, but I wouldn't want it to hurt your business if she flipped out on you for telling us anything. 
I have it in my contract that I have the authority to share any photos I take during sessions on my social media business pages for advertisement purposes. So if she ends up booking and I choose to share a sweet behind the scenes picture of the happy couple, there's nothing she can do or say about it really. I mean, hopefully it's not Charlie and we are all wrong about this, but with the way she's been acting and how cagey Charlie is about her, it makes way too much sense. I know, but I think we all know deep down exactly what's been going on. It'll keep you updated though.